Hey guys, today I'm super excited because we're gonna go to Paris together and we're gonna go to the Opéra Bastille to see the ballet A Midsummer Night Dream. The choreography is by Balanchine, the music by Mendelssohn, and it's based on a Shakespeare's play. Basically, it's a story about fairies, about love, about dramas. Ugh. I'm excited to go to Paris, guys, because I thought I would have much more time to go to Paris these last days, but between working, uh, socializing a bit, and, and just doing things in Versailles already, it was a lot. Let's hope tonight it's not going to be a failure, because I'm going to tell you the truth. Yesterday, I prepared you something. I prepared you a super nice vlog. <laughs> for the National Day of France for the 14th of July and it ended up to be a huge failure. The thing is that each year there's a huge event organized in Paris at the Champ de Mars where there's the Eiffel Tower and they organize a huge classical music concert and every time they invite superstars. So there was Nadine Serra, there was Cavacos, there was uh, Lia Dissand, there was Capuçon, so many great artists that I really wanted to see. I was so excited to go, I was so excited to see this concert. I checked all the information on the website that said that you have to be there 45 minutes in advance, so I planned, okay, I'm gonna be there an hour and a half earlier. How to tell you? I didn't expect that, I should have though, Paris was crowded, like, I've never seen it. So far, it's just a huge failure. They closed all the streets. I have no clue how to reach the concert place. Still have half an hour before the beginning of the concert. So let's find out. Like in every street, it was like, you couldn't walk fast. Like it was so, so, so crowded. And they were closing every street around the Champ de Mars. So I had to kind of figure out how could I reach one of the gates to enter the concert. And at some point I was walking, walking, walking and I found a very long line of people. But when I say very long, it's not like long, it's like super very long, like you cannot even imagine it. Because I was walking and I, I was like, what? Where, where does it end? Basically, it was impossible to get in. Like if I wanted to see the concert, I should have been there five hours in, in advance. But the thing is, there's no toilet and it was so warm. <laughs> Yeah, so if you ever want to, <laughs> to see the concert on the 14th of July or you camp there the day before or just watch it on your TV, it's going to be better. Then I was like, should I stay in Paris? Should I go home? What should I do? And I was like, you know what? I'm here. I should wait just one more hour. Probably I'm not going to be there next year for the national day. So I'm, I'm, I'm close to the Eiffel Tower. There's a calm spot to see the Eiffel Tower. Let's sit down and wait one hour until the fireworks. The fireworks were beautiful. Obviously, it was the most beautiful fireworks I had ever seen. So, that worth it. So, you know, like I was at the beginning of the day, I was like full of energy and enthusiasm. And then at the end of the day, I was like, F that vlog, f this. F day it's like ah it was a failure so there will be no vlog about the 14th of july it will just be my explanation of today but if i want to look at it on the bright side i'm happily surprised that the french government shares classical music like this like it's one of the most important event and each year they organize a classical music concert and i find it amazing it's open to families tourists like everybody now I'm gonna shut up because I have to go. I'm gonna meet a friend in Paris. We're gonna have a little drink and then I'm going to the ballet. Even if you know nothing about ballet, even if you know nothing about classical music, I know 100% for sure that you know at least one part of this ballet and it's the wedding march. It's basically the most cliche music about weddings.
So I'm back home from the ballet, it was wonderful. It was only two hours. With the bricks, ballet is amazing, really. It's impressive how they can jump, they do pirouettes, they, they're just so beautiful. And also how, how can they have the stamina to dance for so long, doing something so demanding for the mental and for the body. Like for me, it's, it's so impressive. I'm so happy because it was the first time I went back to the ballet since maybe before COVID for sure. So I was really happy to see it. Now I'm going to go to bed actually because tomorrow is going to be intense. So <laughs> thank you so much for spending the day with me.